Hello everybody and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Europa Universalis 4 El Dorado. Now in the last episode we created the nation of Magnus right here, this big purple blob. And in retrospect, maybe I should have changed the color. And a couple people pointed out that I made uh, maybe a few mistakes such as um, uh, my heir is the beautiful princess Benjamin Magnus II. Uh, I accidentally left her as a female. But no big deal, like I said uh, in the comment section, I'm just going to try to make Benjamin a unisex name. It's a, it's a good name, I'm just going to try to do that. Uh, militarily, we got embroiled in a very large conflict, basically the top half of the island versus the bottom half of the island, but it is steadily going my way. Now, you'll have to please excuse any extraneous noises. My cat just decided that it was the greatest time to just come over here and start walking around the microphone in circles. Uh, this siege right here is what we were working on at the end of last episode. We were waiting it out. Now, I do not need my full stack here, so if it, we fail to breach, not breach the walls, we've already done that. We failed to complete the siege this month. Yeah, well, what I'm gonna do is go like this. I'm gonna leave these guys here. Ugh, we, we've got three loans out now, I think. I'm gonna leave those guys there and come up here and try to knock um, these guys out of the war. I was gonna say Date, but no, this is, is that Date? This is Date. All right, we should be there any second now. What I might, I'm not the war leader in this, which is what's really annoying me. Not Me not being the war leader means I'm not gonna really be able to do too much here. Send you up here. I don't want this contingent of 2,000 men to get wiped out because it would it would happen pretty easily if they got caught unprepared and unawares. So let's see. Now I don't I haven't played many wars where Worf the Empire or Emperor. Where I was not the war leader, so cannot negotiate separately with someone who is a former subject of the Defender. Yeah, I can't negotiate pieces with any of these people. Yeah, I have to wait for the war leader to do it. I can't do it myself. But we do have 34% war score and the war goal now, so it is ticking up. And the enthusiasm for these wars is going pretty low on their side. That's what's important is the war leader has really low war enthusiasm. And mine's really high, actually. Length of war, military gains, military strength, relative strength of alliance. The only thing that's bad is my alliance is relatively stronger or weaker than theirs. But what is good is that basically in the north here, we rule supreme. Oh, oh, can you just stay down here, please? No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. I'm not there to help. Shit, I really wish he wouldn't have done, gone down there. Takara and Date. Yeah, it's uh, these guys and these guys. That's Takara, right? Yeah. National Epic. Our subjects have taken to telling uh, tales and legends about Benjamin Magnus. Let's actually knock this down a little. Well, luckily, we managed to catch them without these guys getting too interested in the battle. Oh, anyway. Anyway, about Benjamin Magnus, the legend says that in Magnus' darkest hour, he will return to our nation and deliver it from evil. Regardless of the truth in the statement, we could use this in our propaganda. Yes, I love a good story. Or, no, our people should focus on... Okay, let's actually take this. I don't like losing... My, my economy's a trash right now. I'm not sure what I, what I should do about that. Okay, well... I'm not really sure what I should do about my economy at this point. Um, I might need to fire an advisor. Traveling monk, the heavens have opened themselves and the rain outside falls a uh, rattling tattoo uh, on far off rooftops. A traveling monk has arrived at our doorsteps in Kyoto asking for food and lodgings. This monk has given a vow of poverty and by tradition we are obliged to help him. Uh, yeah, naturally we, okay, it's gonna cost us money, but now let's we got I have to do something my my economy's too trashed right now um 
Give me the prestige, better relations over time, over our morale of army. Let's kick out this guy. Had to, had, had to do it. I can't keep um, taking out loans. It's going to destroy me in the long run, having to pay those back and whatnot. That's a, that's a... That's one of my guys, yeah. That, that's an ally. We're doing good. It's surprisingly, for the weaker side in this war, we're doing really good. Yeah, took out another loan. But that should be the last one, I hope. I hope. Let's crank this up a little and keep an eye on what's going on down here. Hosokawa. If I attack them with my army, I know that my they would come and help me. And we'd be able to wipe them out. Which would be good. But I also don't want to relieve this siege. And leave them. You know what? This is more important. Disagreeing advisor. He's been a faithful servant so far. But now he seems to have grown too insolent. He dares to denounce our great lord's policies, and he recently did so in public in front of foreign advisors. Even if he's right, we shouldn't let that become a habit of his. Alright, let's... Off with his head. Kill him, or we lose prestige. Oh, gaining power is really important. We gained admin power, that's good. Now, if I attack him here... I really... <laughs> Oh, God, I really hope that if I attack this army, this one will come to help. Now, it's farmlands, and there's no river crossing, so let's do it. Now, they're going to get out of there on the 12th, and I'll arrive on the 8th. Yes, good. Good, 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 good. He's coming to help. Wiping out their armies will significantly help us win this war. Oh, are you not going to come and help? Dick. Hole. Dick hole. That's what you fucking are. Ass. Jesus Christ. I know I'm winning it on my own, which is awesome, but it's un casualties I didn't need to sustain. Asshole. Can I not, uh... Oh, I need a transport ship. 1,000 Koku tax. Actually, let's pause this and read. One of the personal domains under our rulership still owes us outstanding taxes to the tune of 1,000 Koku of rice. Through communications with our tax collectors, the debtor has argued that his domain is overvalued and that he cannot afford to pay the tax. We could forgive all or part of the debt, or we could use the money. We insist he pay. For should give part of forgive part of the debt or forget the money. Let's um forgive part of the debt. Because we do have a little bit of admin power right now. Now we can't get Oh, okay, no, I feel like we should be able to get there. Are they blockading it? No, oh, yeah, they are blockading the strait. Never mind, okay. Well, that's why I couldn't get there. They are blockading the strait, and that prevents me from moving over that way. So let's... Hmm. What should we do here? Should we go take out another army? No, I feel like what I need to do is knock belligerents out of the war. So let's take our army and put them right back up here. Yep. Just because of... The just because of things like that, and start knocking belligerents out of the war like we did down here. I'm surprised that we're actually managing to do this well in this war. I kind of thought when this got declared right, right in the beginning of the game that it was, it was, it was over. People of Sunpu rely heavily on the port to supply the city with what it needs, but the blockade against uh, Suruga has cut both many luxuries, cut off both many luxuries and some goods claims, and that's the people are here on the fish alone, are tuning to the Lord to find a solution. Divert resources, or war is hard on everyone. Andres goes up, uh, we can right now I'm kind of, I don't feel, I, I don't know if I made the right decision there. Right now I'm kind of playing it fast and loose with the points. I don't know if that's the best idea at the time. Where's the army I, I knocked around? Is it that one? Ochi? No, that wasn't it. It was these guys. But having these guys sitting around in our backyard is just a terrible idea. And I really wish we could piece out of this. This is the Date War for... That's what we're fighting? Everybody's fighting for Date to get independent. I didn't even notice that. They're fighting for Date to, for Date's independence. And we're fighting against it. Oh, no, 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 no. Date's on my side. So Date wants to become independent. That seems like such a stupid war for this size. 
Oh, jeez. Well, we just have to sit here and take it for now. Army maintenance is the worst thing right now. It's just replenishing those troops that have been lost. Once it gets back up, it won't be as bad. It's almost there. Hmm. It seems like it's down to a war of sieges now. Well, hopefully they do... They, they, Date and Takara do good down here. Uh, that's what speed 4 and 5 is for. I usually don't play on speed 4 and 5, but there's really not much going on at the moment. Just sieges. And these are going to take a while, no matter what. 28%? That was a good roll. Oh, we breached the walls. That's what happened. Awesome. Alright, he's, fi he's finally going off and doing something. 56%. Nice. Oh, they took a, a big morale hit on that battle. I'm a little surprised. I rolled a 14 out of 12. Those are some damn good rolls. Surprisingly, we, we have been able to divide and conquer quite easily here. Death of a Geisha. Archetypal female, Japanese entertainer. Last year, a one was known as the well-like Geisha. One of domain died after died young after a short time of illness. What is this? Loan is coming due. Shit. The funeral is turned into a national day of sorrow as our Han mourns the passing of his beloved example of beauty. We mourn the passing or a dead courtesan. I can't be bothered. Uh, right now, oh God, the admin power is just so much, so so important. Date, this is all because of you. Alright, well, as soon as this siege goes, well, I'm going to head back down here. As soon, as soon as it's finished, head back down here. We'll put all armies together and just try to march south, I guess. This is rough. I mean, I was about to say, it's five years after you take the war goal, but my war goal is take... So this will, this, will, this tick should take all the way up to 100, I believe, but it'll take ye five years. I, I was I was kind of hoping that this start would be a little bit different than the the Japanese start I, I did before when I played this I didn't play it online I just I just played it uh, for myself and it was really slow and constant wars and whatnot and I'm, I'm hoping it's not gonna be like that well 35% it's got a pretty good chance of uh never mind <laughs> let's say pretty good chance of actually coming due but it didn't work out that well so we'll wait for another month. Ooh, the last series I played, I learned the hard way. Never assault a castle before you breach the walls. I had like 20,000 troops, and I was just like, oh, it's because I'm used to playing Crusader Kings too, and, you know, if you have you heavily outnumber them, you're perfectly fine. I, he, yeah, he needs my help down there. Okay, good. You're perfectly fine. So I assaulted with like 20,000 troops. And not, not just 20,000 army army total. It was 20,000 infantry. And I lost all 20,000 infantry. Oh wait, did this just end? Wait, 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 wait. Herald from Date, my lord. We accepted peace with the terms enemy of Japan. Grant independence in Date, Takada, and Magnus. Well, we all gained independence there? Interesting. Usugi will secede, will cede uh, Echiko de Date. That's this one right there. Ooh, that's the one I wanted. Japan will end their overlordship over Shiba. Japan will pay 24 ducats. The peace will cost 50 di diplomatic power with the war for the Emperor Costa Spelli. Date gained three prestige. Okay, fine. Okay. We've lost that. Lost. Sengoku. Goku. Goku? Sengoku? Alright, well. War is over. Interesting. Now, for fuck's sake, let's drop this down so we're at least not in the negative anymore. Holy hell. Date, you guys are bastards. Let's see if we can... No, they're too, they think they're too powerful, I bet. Oh, a lot of shit's going down. Hang on, we need new rivals now. Japan is my rival. Huh. Should I just, I mean, wait, do we have a peace with them? Has a truce with Date. 
that's Magnus right there. So I have a piece with pretty much everybody now. That's unfortunate because that means I won't be able to go to war with anyone in the immediate vicinity for 10 years? No, six, no. More than that, 13 years. Oh, that's rough. That kind of sucks. Now, these guys love me. Same religion, royal marriage, alliance, support our independence, fought to the end. Now, uh... Well, it'll give... <laughs> Uh, it's kind of douchey, but you know what? It, it, it's, it's it's the mission, and it'll give me points, and that's what I want. So, fabricated claim on Echigo. I'm kind of enjoying playing in Japan. It's a nice change of pace. The the, the Nation of Designer is honestly more in-depth than I expected it to be, which made me really happy. Like, I expected to have a couple... Uh, Otomo declared war on their new enemy, Japan. Interesting. How are you going to get over there? Oh, they probably got ships. No. I'm not going to grant you that. Now we're finally in the positive here, so we do have that loan to pay back, which sucks. Alright, so let's... Let's repay that. We'll at least take one of those out. Uh, cities demand old rights. Urban dwellers have always existed under a different code of rules than their rural brethren, even in the same state. Just as monarchs look to curb the privileges of nobles, they can off they have often tried to bring cities under more uniform rules and negotiations. The cities often resist their efforts, deny old rights, or accept them. Shit. Well, I can get I can get legitimacy back. Right now, stability is pricey for me. It sucks. I did not want to have to do that. Now, Otomo, which which is this is the Otomo clan? Yeah, no. Uchi, Hokusawa, Usugi. Otomo, where's Otomo? I don't even see them. There they are, right down there. They have one province all the way down here. What the hell do they think they're going to do? Now, I believe I have a truce with pretty much everybody right now, because everybody got involved in this. So, like, the only person I could declare war on if I wanted to was an ally. Oh. <laughs> I could stab my allies in the back if I wanted. They do have an army there, though. And is that mountains? No, that's forest, but that's still a negative one terrain modifier there. So... I'm just trying to think of who I could declare war on next. It's a shame that that gave me truces with everybody. I, mean, I, could, I could go up there if I wanted. No cost of spell eye. Um, I doubt I could fabricate anything. No. So if I went if I went up there and declared with no cost of spell eye, I just want more land. Stability of negative two and war exhaustion would immediately go up. That sucks. Hmm. I mean, Japan is <laughs> taking, like, Musashi and, um, Hitachi and, uh, Kuzuke. Is that how you pronounce that one? Kuzuke? Sounds right to me. Anyway, we're gonna go with that. Those are the regions I'd really like to take the most right now. They, I think they're relatively rich. Uh, tr trade power is actually pretty low. What about taxes? Yeah, look, the taxes there are really good. Well, ooh, that Texas in Ky Oh, that is Kyoto. That is the capital. I should be actually getting pretty close to tech. It, it, it's, it's, it, it's rough on my mind thinking about s thinking about spending that much points on tech. Considering the in the playthrough I just played, it was so much less than that. <laughs> Oh, let's see. I can't believe they actually don't like me that much. They want our provinces that way. Okay, well, we're never going to... We're never going to be friendly, really. I mean, right now we're allies, but... 
Let's uh, fabricate a claim and see if we can declare war on them. I mean, they, they're allied with Date, so that could happen. Alright, let's conquer. Ooh, that's what we're pro considering doing, so. Yeah, let's grab that. If we went up a military tech before we declared war, what would that give us? Ju not much, honestly. Wait, well, a little bit more morale. My, my, my land morale would go up, and my infantry would be slightly better. Slightly better. So, may, may, that's, that, that's the only thing that I, I could do to give me a leg up. And what is my leader? 112, their leader is a 120. The only thing I have on him is maneuverability. Shame that I'm thinking about doing it this way, but... Date is the only one that would come to his aid, so that might come to his aid at least. And I think I could divide and conquer again. What is my... Uh, I'd, I'd like to raise up another regiment, but I can't afford that. Know what I should have done? I should have raised a war tax. Damn it, I forgot about that. And, this, and then we would destroy the economy again. Tax in here is decent though, so... Maybe it would make some... Oh, there's gold in those mountains. I like that 95% of the ducks, the ducats and nippins stay in this trade now. Nobody's over here yet fucking around with us. Alrighty, 900. Man, I would kill for numbers like this on my, on my other series I was playing. Just kill. Alright, production efficiency allows to support rebels. And this would get me... Access to heavy ships, naval morale, naval maintenance, trade efficiency, colonial range. Not anything I'm terribly interested in right now. So let's crank this up. Wait for a little bit more military power. The the What I'm going to need to do is really try. Well, what I'm thinking is like trying to colonize, maybe explore and colonize out this way. And, oh, I don't know. I'd like to get it to the, like the west coast of America. I thought that would be fun. And well, we have the admin right now, so might as well grab it. And then the next one will get me my first idea group. I mean, I don't have anything else to spend it on right now. I, I could have cranked up my stability, but there's not really any need to get it up to two at the moment. But we are going to get that. Um, a new culture has been spreading throughout the land based on the ideas of aesthetics of Zen Buddhism and the concept of wabasabi, beauty, and simplicity. The tea ceremony, um, uh, Akimbana? Abana? Flower arrangements? Alright, um, we could encourage the growth and lose some military power. Oh, look at that. Admin tech cost minus 5%. That would have been helpful just a minute ago. Ah, that sucks. And I don't have the money to spend, so we're just going to take the prestige hit. Alright, there's that. Did it go? Oh, boss, I did it go. Alright, what's the next military tech going to give us? Armory, military tactics, and land morale. Alright, so let's... Let's do this shit. Let's go to he uh, the economy and crank this up. Uh, what is that going to cost me? Hopefully it doesn't knock it down to zero. Okay, it's not zero. Pardon me drinking my coffee. Now, I do have a claim here, right? right we'll let let the, the morale go up. And that is Diplo. Well... We increased tech. This this episode we managed to increase the tech straight across the board, which is good. I mean, it 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 just kills me that it costs that much. No enforcements of ordinances. Issuing ordinances. Okay, we can um. Uh, admin power or unrest. Let's just take the unrest there. That's not a Magnus peasants. It'll take forever, and we can offset that by increasing the autonomy there a little bit. All right, now. Let's try this. Ugh, this is gonna this 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 is gonna be rough, but we're gonna try it. Should I raise up another 
No, I feel like I don't I feel like raising up another regiment might not be the right idea here. You know, it's not gonna take that long. Maybe another thing of cavalry? No, those are too expensive. Alright, let's do it. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be the right decision, but we're going to... I should have done this, you know, a month ago, but... We're going we're gonna to try it out and see if this does any good for me. We're going to fight this battle, and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully... We've been really lucky in battle so far. Even ones that I thought were going to be close, I ended up coming up at, ahead on. The only thing that's going to suck is that I'm going to take a negative one terrain penalty attacking into a forest. But I'm hoping that having a third more troops than him will completely offset that. Not completely, but hopefully it'll it'll get me enough, it'll be an, a, a big enough, you know, difference to, to offset that, that terrain penalty. So let's do this. Let's try to take Takeda. We're going to declare war, take Kai, and go. And we're going to try to hit them. Ooh. He must have had his slider down. Oh, shit. All right, let's try to uh, get um, Date's army out of this. Yeah, we're going to catch them. Excellent, excellent. Awesome. That couldn't have gone better. Okay, we knocked Date's army out of the war. They'll probably... Now, we have grasslands here, and there's a river crossing. So we're going to head up here. Nope, nope. We're going to head up here. We're going to head up here, go to this province here, and then hit them from the other direction so we don't suffer the terrain penalty. Uh, good. Our Most of our troops were only down about, about 150, 200 men, so we're going to keep going. And, okay, we're going to put this down like that, and we're going to watch this. Ah! A zero roll. Sounds about right. My morale being higher is a big, big thing for me. All right. Good roll, good roll. Ah, this did not go in his in, in his way at all. Okay, I crushed him, and he's going to fall back to Kai. Oh, no, never mind. His army's gone. Look at that. They literally don't have anybody left. So, I actually think... Oh, my God. That was so much easier than I expected. Wow. All right, so let's... Let's just do this. Let's detach, and then go over here. Maybe try to grab Echigo as well. We, maybe we can grab it from a separate piece and grab it from Date. And these guys are... Are they sieging down here? Yeah, they must be. Alright, let's see... Alright, that, that's that. This is going to be an easy war, and it worked out really well for me. But we're at the end of this episode, and uh, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it a qualified success. We successfully completed our first war, teched up in every single aspect... And we are on a successful conquest of Kai and maybe Echigo if we get lucky. So if you have enjoyed this episode, just drop me a like. Leave me a comment right down below. And if you are interested in more, Benjamin Magnus plays Crusader Kings 2. Not Crusader Kings 2. Oh my god. I just I just recorded that. Got Crusader Kings 2 on the brain. My bad. Europa Universalis 4. Subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time.